Speaking of which, let's get right to Florence. The eye is a little over 30 miles in diameter. It is a very healthy storm. There's a little bit of wind shear yesterday, which has tapered off. It continues to move toward the Carolinas, but now this is a bit of a shift. First and foremost, the yellow shows you tropical storm force winds, which extend very far from the center. That's due to those eye wall replacement cycles that we were talking about yesterday. It may or may not make landfall in North Carolina. We say that because models are picking up on a stronger ridge. You're going to hear a lot about the changing models. They're picking up on a stronger ridge to the northwest. That might help keep this south, and that could potentially, notice how big the cone gets now? Now there's a lot of uncertainty early next week because this could potentially make a second landfall in South Carolina or Georgia as it moves to the west. It'll also bring upwards to 10, 15, 20 inches of rain, maybe even further inland. Helene continues its move to the north, and Isaac is extremely disorganized now with the center of circulation to the west of all this convection. Here's the thing, though. Helene's moving north. Isaac's moving into the Caribbean, where there's very high wind shear, 40-mile-per-hour winds. This could actually get torn apart in the Caribbean. It could maintain itself. It's not been a very resilient storm. This will just be something we have to watch, but right now it's undergoing a lot of resistance.